okay so let us look at the program we already made the project over here right and i'll look at the c program we'll show the c program the other things remains the same for this board so now let us look at the program now the first thing is rc2 is your ccp1 pin right so the, on this pin ccp1 pin is your rc2 so i have to make it as a output port to make it as an output port i have made that equal to 0 in tris c i have to write 0 to it then in the tris b bit i have configured rc2 pin as output then i am configuring the module so as we have seen the configuring in the compare mode that is two compare mode and with toggling so when it compares it will toggle so if it is high it will make it low rc2 pin is high then it will be made low if it is low then it will be made high i am clearing the ccp1 interrupt flag or the if flag which i will monitor to see whether the comparison has happened or not okay now i will start configuring the timer 3 so here i have made the register timer 3 0 the timer 3 l equal to 0 and timer 3 h that is the 16 bit register high and low equal to 0 okay so i made it this equal to 0 so i have gone into the 16 bit mode i have made timer 3 as a 16 bit mode i have made timer 3 as the ccp1 clock so i have configured it so that the ccp1 will become the clock for timer 3 or timer 3 will be used with respect to the ccp right so i am loading here the value for the uh, what you can say milliseconds so how many milliseconds are there so this is one microseconds so one millisecond divided by and divided by two right so here i am updating the value into the ccpr1 h and ccpr1 l right so in c when you write ccpr1 this register automatically the high and low values are there or else i can go and do the calculator so i can use the calculator i can go hex 500 and i can find out it's 01 f4 so i can write ccpr1 h as 0 x 0 1 and uh, this as ccpr1 l is equal to 0 x f 4 right so i can update this value into ccpr1 h and ccpr1 l now i'll start the timer so here i have started the timer so what i have done i made it the timer 3 16 bit timer i have enabled timer 3 so that it will work with the ccp1 clock then i have put the values 500 value into ccpr1 that compare value into the ccpr1 h and ccpr1 l value then what i have done is i have enabled or started the timer now i am waiting in for the pir1 or this flag to be set this flag when it sets it says that the comparison has happened okay so the comparison when the comparison happens this flag will be set the moment this flag is set you know that the comparison has happened so it will come out of this while loop so till it is equal to zero that means comparison has not happened it will remain over here the moment it happens now if you see that automatically the rc2 pin will be high toggled that if it is high it will be made low if it is low it will be made high now after that i have cleared the ccp1 value finally i have cleared timer 3 l and timer 3 h and again i am started counting from 0 0 so that the waveform is created so you can see it will run once twice so when it is toggled you will get a square waveform of 1 kilohertz